Greetings, YouTubers. It's Rick, the tech enthusiast again here with the next Elegoo lesson number two, Blink. For this lesson, we're finally going to connect the Arduino Uno to the computer and run the provided sketch Blink to watch the onboard LED on the Arduino, well, Blink. Let's begin by starting the Arduino IDE. Once the Arduino IDE starts, Select the file menu item and then select example 01.basics, then blink. The example blink sketch should load up into your editor, and you'll notice that if I try to save the sketch, the program will warn me that this is a read only file, and then gives me the option to save it as well something else. The guide suggests that we use my blink, and that's probably good enough for now. You should also see my blink under the open recent in the file menu. That's so later we can get to it more easily. But for now, let's go ahead and connect our Arduino Uno to the USB cable. If you're following along in the guide, it kind of shows at this point a scrambled up Arduino screen. But what I think what they're trying to convey here is to show you that you're going to do a, a save as. You'll notice that soon after we power it up or hook up the USB, the LED marked L starts to blink. Well, that's because every Elegoo Arduino Uno R3 board is pre-installed with the blink sketch. That way they can test it before it's shipped out. Uh, we'll customize the My Blink sketch to show how just how this works. First, let's verify that the board type and the COM port are still configured correctly. Select the Tools menu item, and then verify that the board is the Arduino Genuine Uno. If not, then change it now. And then select the port that it belongs to, which in this case, mine is still connected to COM3, so I'm good there. So if yours is connected to a different port, uh, now would be a good time to change that. Uh, so if you remember from lesson one, that the IDE will typically tell us what COM port the Arduino is connected to, and that's in the lower right hand corner, as you can see right here. Also note that uh, in the guide, page 49 is actually page 40. Well, just for fun, we can click the upload icon, which is the little right arrow in a circle on the upper left hand corner of our screen. And watch what happens. First, the sketch is going to be compiled, and then the status will change to uploading. The Arduino LED starts to flicker during the transfer, and then finally, if all goes well, the status will change to done. And I'll de demonstrate later what happens when it doesn't go well. But first, let's get a little familiar with the code. If you notice in the code here, we have two forward slashes followed by some text. And that single line of text is a single line of comments. It allows us to read the comments to other viewers of the code, but uh, doesn't actually get executed in the Arduino IDE. Now, if we were to scroll up, we can see that there's a forward slash asterisk with a bunch of text and then ending with an asterisk and a forward slash. Now, everything in that between those forward slashes and asterisks uh, that's all commented out so that we can read uh, even more detailed information provided by the programmer or the author of this sketch. Now, sometimes we would have uh, some global variables that we would see there, but most often, or well, all the time, we'd have a void setup, and then it's followed by a curly bracket, and then whatever you need to set up once for the program, and then we end that with a curly bracket. And then we have a void loop. Now this is the one run many times until we turn off the power. So everything in this curly, between these curly brackets will be run many times until we no longer need the Arduino or the, the power goes off. One of the first changes that the guide recommends that we make is we change the delay 
from 1000 to 500, making it a, a, a rap, more rapid LED blink. And we'll go ahead and have a little fun with that. Let's try that. We'll change the first one to 500 and we'll change the low or off to 500. Notice that the onboard LED, LED L, is blinking faster now. Just playing around now, we'll change the stay on times and stay off times to make them different and see how that changes. Notice when we increase the stay off time or the low time, the LED stays off for a longer period of time, then rapidly blinks and then goes back off again. We'll upload this sketch and see what happens. Notice as we increase the stay on time to high time, the LED stays on for much longer and then rapidly blinks. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Lesson two, blink. Join me next time when we do lesson three, LED. I know it was a short lesson. It was basically to go over a little bit of the code, becoming familiar with Arduino, a little bit of the IDE. It's a very simple lesson. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, make comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.